the blood of John Lewis and so many other brave and righteous souls that was spilled in Selma on this Sunday in 1965 sanctified a noble struggle. And when the country saw those images that night, America was forced to confront the denial of democracy, the fierce urgency of justice. Congress passed the Voting Rights Act a few months later, and President Johnson signed it into law. But the legacy of the march in Selma is that while nothing can stop free people from exercising their most sacred power as, as a citizen, there are those who will do anything they can to take that power away. Today, we have a hailstorm, not a rainstorm, a hailstorm. In 2020, our very democracy on the line, even in the midst of a pandemic, more Americans voted than ever before. Multiple recounts in states and decisions of more than 60 cases from judges appointed by my predecessor, including at the Supreme Court, upheld the integrity of this historic election. Yet instead of celebrating this powerful demonstration of voting, we've seen an unprecedented insurrection in our capital and a brutal attack on our democracy on January the 6th. And never before, a never before seen effort to ignore, undermine, and undo the will of the people. And to think of that, and yet it's been followed by an all out assault on the right to vote in state legislatures all across the country. You know, during the current legislative session, elected officials in 43 states have already introduced over 250 bills to make it harder for Americans to vote. We can not let them succeed. Last week, the House of Representatives passed H.R. 1, the For the People Act of 2021. This is a landmark piece of legislation that is urgently needed to protect the right to vote and the integrity of our elections and to repair and strengthen our democracy. I hope the Senate does its work so I can sign it into law. I also urge Congress to fully restore the Voting Rights Act, named in John Lewis's honor. Today, on the anniversary of Bloody Sunday, I'm signing an executive order to make it easier for eligible voters to register to vote and improve access to voting. Every eligible voter should be able to vote and have that vote counted. And I'll close with this. A few days before he passed, Jill and I spoke with John, Congressman Lewis. But instead of answering our concerns about him, we talked about how you, you doing, John. He asked me to stay focused on the work left undone to heal and to unite this nation around what it means to be an American. That's the God's truth. John wouldn't talk about his pending death or his concerns. He said, we just got to get this done. That we're all created equal. We all deserve to be treated equally. On this day of reflection, please, let's stay focused on the work ahead. Let's remember all those who came before us as a bridge to our history so we don't forget its pain and as a bridge to our future so we never lose hope. May God bless their memory. May God bless you all. And may God protect our forces.